Hey guys, so today we are going to see how we can create custom UV animations using Blender and Solums. But before starting the tutorial, I just want to show you something. Make sure that this PR is merged. I'll put the link down in the description. So make sure that this PR is merged like this. It will show you right over here. So make sure that you are using the latest Solums version and this PR is merged. And heading back to our Blender scene, let's remove everything and just add a simple plane. I'm just gonna rotate the plane on Y axis by 90 degrees and scale it on Z axis. So it looks something like this. So we're just gonna make a, a let's say an arrow billboard and I have already created the texture right over here. It's already in DDS format and it's a transparent texture as you can see. So I'm going to use a transparent texture since in UV animations the transparent texture uses a specific kind of shader which allows you to animate the texture which is a transparent texture or has an alpha channel along with the emissiveness. So I'm just gonna create drawable of this plane. So let's create a drawable. Go to shaders panel and I'm just gonna give it a emissive additive UV alpha. Just click on create shader material. And now we just go to shading tab. Just gonna drag and drop my texture right over here. Arrow. And make sure to go to rendered mode. And now we can just set our UV coordinates. I'm just gonna UV project it. Now we can just scale it up. I'm gonna scale it down on the y axis and this should be good. So now once you have let's say now you want to animate the texture. We're just gonna create a simple texture animation and the arrows will be moving from left to right. So what we can do is just select our object in the viewport, open the solvents panel, and you'll see the animation tools right over here. Change the type from regular to UV and click on create clip dictionary template. Now we're just gonna rename our models properly. And let's say UV prop. And I'm just gonna name it to clip at UV underscore prop. And next what we can do is in order to animate the texture. Just select your object in the viewport and click on add UV node to the material. And in case you have multiple textures, so make sure that you are clicking on this button after selecting the texture which you want to animate. So I just want to animate my first texture. So I'm just going to select this and click on add UV node to the material. Once it's done, go to your shading tab and you'll see that you have two new nodes connected to your material right over here. What you can do is just pull up a new tab, select a timeline and start creating a texture. So this add node enables us to animate the textures. So make sure it's set to zero by default. You can change the value in case you want, but I'm just going to start with zero. Press I to insert the keyframe. And if you just click on your object and then just click on this node, you'll see the keyframe right over here. Now let's go to let's say 30. I'm just going to move my texture to minus 1. Press I again to set another keyframe. And if you play the animation, it looks like this. I'm just going to set another keyframe on minus 60. And I'm just going to limit my timeline to 60. So it will look something like this. Once you have animated your texture, what we can do is just select our clip dictionary template, click on create clip, create animation. Then our first step is going to be select our clip, go to object properties, go to solums. Under the linked animation, click on add new animation link, select your animation, fill out the details like start frame, end frame is 60. Set the duration to 2 because uh, 60 frames divided by 30 frames, so it's 2. 
and we don't need to fill the hash and the name go back to animation and now right over here fill out the frame count 60 and then what you want to do is select a material which you want to animate so in this case I only have my single animation material just, I'll just select on this and you'll see that the hash is automatically filled and under the clip the hash and the names are automatically filled in case you want to know how these hashes and names are calculated you can follow the decorvenator tutorial I'll put the link down in the description but I just want to tell you that UV animations follow a very specific pattern in terms of putting the hash and the name for the animation and the clip dictionary so make sure you are using proper names and proper hashes else the texture won't be animated in game or in the code walker so make sure that you have proper hash and name in both clip and animation and now once we have done all this what we can do is create an arc type definition so I'm just gonna select my prop create new bar type I'm just gonna name my bar type to the same name as prop I'll just give my clip dictionary over here and I'm just gonna embed my texture so I'll just fill out my texture dictionary and under the flags tab what you want to do is set the flag to 1024 so you'll see that the unknown 11 is selected and then we can just export our Y type so I'm just gonna export it to right over here in my UV showcase folder and I'm just gonna embed my material and the values parameter so under the textures parameter I'm just gonna embed it and we can also change the emissiveness multiplier so let's just set it to 10 and then we can export all these things disable use parent transform selected objects and export and here is our clip dictionary or the animation by CD our prop and our by type so let's just import it in our code walker open our clip explorer go uh, enable the edit mode I'm just gonna put it in my tutorial DLC drag all these three and right over here and restart our code walker and now if you just click on the UV prop YDR you will see that the textures are animated now let's just put it in game so let's just launch our code worker I'm just going to create a new biomap right over here the new biomap new entity and the prop name was UV prop I'm just gonna put it right over here and my DLC is not loaded so let me just load my DLC right over here so once our DLC is loaded let's create a new one map let's just rotate it right over here move it backwards a little bit Once you have placed your prop, let's just calculate all flags and extents. See what our Y map. I'm just gonna save it in my UV animation stream folder. Create our new manifest. Now we can just stream our prop and start our Python server. There is my UV anim folder. Stream. I'm just gonna drag and drop it right over here and let's just start our pylon ensure our resource once we are loaded in game let's teleport to our location it will be right around here
All right, if we just turn down our time tonight, as you can see, the textures are animated. It's also transparent and it's also MSF. You can increase the emissiveness multiplier, but if you want to use the transparent shader, you'll have to use a very specific shader named as MSF Additive UV Alpha. But if you want to animate regular textures, it also works fine. If you want to, let's say, animate any base texture like, like let's say, park here. If you want to animate this texture, this also works fine without any issues. But there are certain shaders which do not support UV animation. So if you try to animate an unsupported shader, Solums will automatically create a warning and it will say that the animation is not supported on the selected shader. So you don't need to worry about that. And as you can see, we have our successful result right over here. So I hope you have fun creating UV animations. And till then, I'll see you next time.